Okay, we're going to try this again. I do not know when was the last time uh, Facebook decided to knock me out. Because I know this is a word for someone to understand you have lost nothing. You have lost nothing. Just go back to the beginning. Retrace your steps. Come on in. Tag this. Share it with someone. I know this is a word for God's people. And I absolutely believe it's going to bless you. I dropped my glasses just a second. So. It is going to bless the people. Tag someone, share it, invite someone to hear this, someone who feels like they've lost because of a divorce, because of a business closing, because they didn't get that deal. This is a word for you. This is a prophetic word for you. I absolutely know. I thought initially that when I woke up from it this morning, it was just for me. But as the day went on, I knew it was for God's people. And if you have an ear to hear, what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to you, the church, um, this word is for you. Tag, share, invite someone uh, to hear this message. Don't log off. Don't log off. Come on back in. I'm telling you, if you feel like you've lost, you have lost nothing. You have lost nothing. Understanding that God will give us dreams uh, to either speak to our soul, to speak to our spirit, about where we are in life and through that he will give interpretations and with the interpretation that gives us hope right for what's going on what's to come our pastor today uh preached from acts 27 about uh the storm the shipwreck of paul i heard so much in there with such a powerful powerful word um you know ships happen right Stuff happened and we get shipwrecked in our lives. So it was a um it was a powerful, powerful word. If you have a chance, go on and and to the streams.org and listen to that message. So this was the dream. Okay. This was the dream. Um I was at an event, I was at a festival or a conference of some kind, and um there were all kinds of people there. Uh, and this word is for you. Hey, thank you, Alan, for coming back in. And those of you who are coming back in, share, tag, and invite someone to be a part. As I was at this event, hey, hey, Sister Johnson, um, as I was at this event, um, it felt like I, this, fe initially, it felt like this event that I uh, try to frequent and go to every year in the islands, uh, the, the Soul Beach Festival. It felt like that, but I know it wasn't that event. And so there were people everywhere. And um, when I took a couple of buses to get to the venue, to get to the location. So I took a couple of buses to get to the venue. Um, and when I entered in, I, I don't even quite know how I got to the beach where things were happening, where the event was happening, where the party was happening. But there was, and there were... I saw my pastor there um, and I saw um, prominent people. You would say celebrities. You might say high profile people, quote unquote, famous people. So all of these people were there. And then I ran up on, um, I think people I dated were there. So it was all of these I had dated in the past. Hey, Lisa. And um, so all of these people were in the same venue. So at some point, I felt like I wanted to leave. I needed to leave. I was by myself, but I still was having fun, but kind of rolling by myself. Anybody, you know, rolling by yourself through life. So there I was uh, going through. So I decided to leave. So as I left, I get outside, but I'm not at the event anymore. I'm outside. I've walked through a lobby. I'm outside and it's a hotel and it's a hotel in a city I'm not familiar with. And I'm like, okay, now, how did I get those buses here? How did I get here? What buses did I take to get to where this event was? And I looked and there were buses going by and people were getting on these buses. But I looked at the top of them. None of them were going. I need somebody to hear me and follow me concerning this dream. None of those buses were going where I needed to go. 
And I realized, oh, this, I must have been on a special bus that brought me directly to my destination. So I didn't know how to catch these buses in the city to get back to where I needed to be. So I turned and I went back into what now is a hotel. And I go through the hotel lobby and it was clear to me that there were other people in this same location that were there for something else. They weren't there for what I was there for. And they had on, you know, other shirts, another conference, you know, you, you share the space with other people who are at a conference. So I knew they were not a part of what I was a part of. And so I had free access to go and to come as I please. I could go wherever I wanted in, in my space, in that venue, at that event. So as I come back in to where the event is, the total scenery is different. We're like on the beach. People are laying in lawn chairs, you know. And I go through these automatic doors and they, of course, just swing open. You step and they swing open. Well, okay. And then I am... What is the word? I have an invite by a gentleman who used to just be a roadie. We just used to hang out back in the day. Hey, Walter. Hey, Walter. We used to just hang out in the in, back in the day and um, no big deal. And so he made, quote unquote, an, an advance or invitation, hallelujah, to me. And so I was like, nah, bro, I'm cool. You know, how's this? How's that small talk? So as I'm talking to him, I'm realizing where's my purse? Where's my cell phone? I don't know where it's at. And so I stand there and I turn and I go back to retrace my steps. Like, where did I leave my purse? Where could I have left? Then I realized my purse was in my cell phone and... So wherever my purse is, that's where my cell phone is. So I go back through those automatic doors. They just automatically come open. And I'm saying to God, where did I put my purse, Lord? Where is my purse? All my credit, you know, just everything, my money, everything's in there. My Probably my passport, who knows? So I'm thinking in this dream. And I, I, I knew the Holy Spirit told me, look right and look down. So when I look right and I look down, my purse is underneath like a shelf. And in the dream, I'm thinking, now, I remember standing there, but I don't remember putting my purse on the floor. Did I thought I put it on the shelf. Like, you, you're standing there, and there's just a little shelf, and you rest your purse there. And I'm thinking, is that where I put my purse? Did I put my, or did somebody else put it there for safety so what was in there would not be stolen? So this is what the Lord told me. Father, right now, I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to them, who is the church. For everyone who believes they've lost because something quote unquote failed or they were out of their element or they stepped out on faith and did something or because they're taking a journey alone. God wants you to know in Jesus name, you have not failed. You have not lost a thing. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. So I pray that this message touches your heart as God gave me the interpretation of what was going on in this dream and how this not only relates to me, but it is for you. It is a word for you. So if you are under the sound of my voice now and live, or you hear this word later as it's re, uh, replayed, then know that God is speaking to you. If someone tags you, someone shares it with you, this is a word for you, so claim it. So what the Lord is saying, so why would my pastor be in my dream? Well, pastor represents God. My pastor, and typically if your pastor shows up in a dream, it represents the Holy Spirit. God is moving and speaking to your heart and confirming something to you that you need to hear and that you need to listen to. The people I was familiar with in the dream, God's just letting you know there are people around you uh, that are a part of your purpose, they're a part of your destiny, but they may not be the ones that can get you to where God needs for you to go. But ultimately, whatever you're doing, you need to constantly be seeking him. Lord, where is my purse? Where did I put it? And he will give you, he is the order of your steps. Your steps are ordered in the Lord. He is the lamp unto your feet and the light unto your path. And so you trust him, even when you feel like you are lost, or you have lost.
something. Amen. So what does all of this represent? The, the familiar person, uh, hey, Sister Phyllis, the familiar person who, um, how do I, who gave me the invite, right? Um, that person represents simply people from your past. You do not have to go back. Um, you, you don't have to give into, uh, weaknesses or struggles or the invitation of people who are not going where you're going. You do not have to do that. And let me tell you something, this friend of my past, fine. Okay. Brother's fine. Still is fine. And good God almighty. But nonetheless, God wants you to know you have the strength to stand up under the temptations that are going to come. You have the strength. To stand up under the temptations that will come. God will give you strength. Where you are weak, He will be. you will be made strong because he is in you. Greater is he that is within you than anything that is in this world. God wants you to understand as you are moving about in life and in this season of life, you will move in circles that you are not familiar with. You will move about places. Literally, you will go from one place to another and where you're comfortable and in one comfortable setting, you may find yourself in a setting that you're not comfortable with because you don't know the people. You're not familiar with the area. Just like as I stepped out of those doors, I was like, where am I? I'm not familiar with this city. But if you just turn around, compose yourself, God will show you how to get to where you need to be. Now, understand that in the dream, I never heard God give me instruction on how to get back to where I was. But I knew in the dream I could get back. Once I got what I needed, I got my phone, which has a GPS on it. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is your GPS. God purpose system that's in you. you. He will speak to you and speak through you and tell you which way to go. The Bible says behind you, you will hear a voice that will tell you which way to go. Hallelujah. Which turn to make, where to go. He will do that for you because he loves you. He does not want you to fail. And so once I knew, I knew, I somehow knew I would get back to where I was. Listen, where you were in your credit score, you'll get back. Where you were in your relationship, you'll get back. As I sat in church today, I heard the Holy Spirit say he was reconciling all things. That's an accounting term. He was reconciling all things. He's going to bring balance to every area of your life. Whether it's relationship, your marriage, your money, your ministry, whatever it is, God is going to bring balance balance to every area of your life. If you are seeking him as I was, where's my purse? Lord, show me. Lord, show me. Ask God, what do you have for me to do in this season? Where am I to do it? How am I to be doing it? I think it's Paul S. Morton wrote a song, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. Ask God, what is it that you have for me to do in this season and lead me along to that path and along that path? And he will. The automatic doors uh, represent you. Like I said, I had free access. I, I could go wherever I wanted uh, in that venue. I, I felt at that event, I had full access. Listen, the table is spread. The table is spread for you. It really is. Whether it's business, whatever it is, I need you to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. The table is spread for you. If you are seeking God and you are asking God, the table is spread for you. Now, I'm not talking to the haughty, prideful person who think they know everything and think they got all the answers and can't nobody tell you nothing. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people who seek God for his direction and for his understanding and for wise counsel and seek out people for wise counsel. The, spirit, the Bible says, he who has an ear to hear, hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to you, the church. You need to seek God in this season and don't stop seeking him until you get the answer that you are needing. Where do I go? What do I do? How do I do it? Lead the way. God, if you don't go with me, I can't go. If you don't go with me, I can't go. So Lord, I need you to order my steps. Be the lamp. I always talk about that Michael Jackson video. Was it Billie Jean? What was it? And the and the steps would the 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 steps would light up so he would know where to step. Seek God for that type of communing and that type of relationship and he will show you which way to go and what 
the next step is. Hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. God wants you to know you have lost nothing. I hadn't lost my purse. Now, whether somebody took my purse and put it underneath or that's where I put it. I'm not a person that would do that to just put my purse on the floor underneath something. So in my spirit, good God almighty, in the dream, I knew that someone had put it there for safety. And when I went in it, everything was there. You need to hear me. You've lost nothing. And everything that is supposed to be yours, you will have. When you get to the place that good God almighty, thank you, Jesus. When you get to the place that God has for you, everything that is yours will be there. Everything that was supposed to be there will be there. Whether you know it or understand it or not, it will be there to meet you. You have lost nothing. You have lost nothing. Retrace your steps. Go back if you need to. Now, where did I place that? <coughs> Show me, Lord. Where did I leave my prayer life? Where did I leave stop being affectionate to my spouse? Where did I leave, stop being encouraging to my spouse or to my children? Where did I leave? When did I stop doing that? When did I stop being a listening ear to, to a friend? Where, where did I leave? Lord, take me back. And if you take me back, I know you'll show me how to get there. Good God Almighty. Trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. You have lost nothing. You have lost nothing. Just ask God and start retracing your steps. Where did I lose that? Where did I lose my peace? Where did I lose my joy? Where did I lose those friendships and those, those uh, connections and opportunities? Where did I lose it? Where did I drop the ball? Let, let me stop looking at what they did, what they said, how they treated me. What, where, where did I, where did I let something slip through my hand? Ask God. Good morning. Good afternoon, Sister Malone. God needs you to understand you have lost nothing. Retrace your steps. Like I said, I thought this dream was just for me, but it wasn't. It was for you. If you're coming in right now, just replay it when I'm done and let the Lord speak to you. Let the Lord speak to your heart. Let yourself be encouraged to know... I. I Matter of fact, say it right now. I've lost nothing. I've lost nothing. Everything that God has for me is in reserve. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Everything that God has for me is not only in reserve, it is reserved. My name is on it. That was my purse when God said, look to the right and look down. That was my purse. And what whoever would have tried, nobody even tried to steal it. Someone, and in this case, we know it's God, will take your stuff and put it over here so nobody else can get to it. Good God Almighty. He will pick it up and put it somewhere else until you go back and retrace your steps and go get it. Go back and get those prophecies. Go back and get those dreams. Go back. And get what God has for you because your name is on it. Go back and get that degree. Go back and finish that book. Go back to the gym. Go back to eating right. Whatever it is God is telling you to do. Just go back. Retrace your steps. Where, where did I get off course? That's all. Where did I get off course? Don't beat yourself up. I could have stood in that dream. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where's my purse? Where? But the Lord didn't let me do that. The Lord didn't let me do that in the dream. I turn and see this is the don't don't get ah by Sekora Maseta. Ha, don't get distracted by the fine and pretty things. Don't, don't get distracted by that fine man who is not trying to go where you're going. Don't don't you get distracted by that pretty girl. She ain't going where you're going. He was not trying to get up and help me, hey Roderick, uh to, to find my purse. He was not trying to get he was basking in the sun, honey. He was not trying to get up in that dream. So if they're not trying to help you get back to where you were, obtain what God is trying to get to you, then you just say, peace out. Good to see you. I'm not taking that invitation because I need to go find what my name is on. I need to go retrace my steps and go get back to what God has for me. I got to get back. I got to get back. 
So again, um, again, I was around people of influence. God is going to put you around people who are of influence and you have to know how to conduct yourself in that moment. He's going to put you around people who have influence and they, the favor for me to have free access and free reign in this space. They're going to give it to you, but it's how you enter into the space, how you conduct yourself in the space and how you exit the space and how you return. All of those things are important to those who have influence or who have power if they say, you're welcome back. Because remember I said, those doors, it was those automatic doors. When I, Honey, when I, my foot got on, they just opened and I came right back in to where I was. How you enter, how you act when you're there, hallelujah, how you act before you get there. Once you're in it, how you conduct yourself, how you enter it, how you conduct yourself and how you exit and when you're welcome back. God is ready to those doors to open for you, but you got to be ready. I was very comfortable, even though I was by myself. Most people don't like to roll by themselves. I will roll by myself. I will take myself to dinner, to the movies, honey, whatever. Get on a plane, go by myself, take a trip. Sometimes I meet friends there. Sometimes I don't. Um, so when I was in corporate, I would do something called side tripping. And if I was in the Dominican Republic, I would get on a plane and go to St. Thomas. I would get on the plane and go to the, to, to, uh, uh, the Cayman Islands. So I can roll by myself, but what joy it's going to be. Hallelujah. When I'm able to roll. Hasha. <laughs> Glory to God. So God wants you to understand. You got to get comfortable being in a season where you might have to roll by yourself. You might have to do things by yourself. And it's okay. It's okay. Just think if I would have been with somebody, maybe they could have helped me look, but maneuvering and going around in that space, you know, having to, you know, watch for them, then watch for me. There's a season and it's okay that you will be required to go it alone. Had I came and rolled with them to the venue, they could have said, hey, this is how we get back. We, we just jump on this and we jump there. However, in doing that, I would not have turned to God. I would have turned to them. And, and I'm not saying, because I'm the first person to say, wise counsel, walk you know, in, in the fullness of partnership and collaboration and, and roll out with your friends. I'm with that. But I'm saying there is a time that God may require you to go it alone. And it's frightening. It's scared. It, 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 can be, it can be scary. But know that God is with you. And if you stay in tune with the Holy Spirit, you stay in tune with the Holy Spirit, then he will tell you which way to go. So I want you to be encouraged. You have not lost anything. You have not lost anything, beloved. God has what is yours on reserve, just like he put my purse underneath that shelf. And when I came through those automatic doors, look to the right and look down. There it was. God will tell you which way to go. Look up, look over here, look... He will tell you how to get to the thing that belongs to you. Amen. I want you to be encouraged. I want to make sure there was nothing else. Um, the bus. Let me talk about the bus. Buses represent ministry, typically. It's a form of transportation. And it represents your way of getting... It could tip, Yeah, buses. Now I think about it. This is the, I had a dream about a bus years ago. But it represents typically ministry. It represents um, the transportation of you getting to where God wants you to be. So for me, that would be ministry. That may be business. Uh, whatever that way is uh, that you, God, whatever tool, uh, instrument, God wants to use to get you to where he has for you to be. That's what it represents. Now, remember I told you I took one or two, I think it was one bus to get to the venue, to the event, to the conference, to whatever was going on. I took one bus, but it was not that bus that was going to get me back to where I was going. To get back to, my, to wh where I started, it wasn't going to be that bus. But I somehow knew I was going to get back. Now, whether it was going to be in jump, jump in somebody's car, get a taxi or Uber in the dream, I don't know. But what I do know is that God has a 
platform, a ministry, a purpose for each and every last person under the sound of my voice. Your sphere of influence. It is yours. And you have to use the method that God will give you to get to where God has for you. For Jesus, it was a donkey. Hey, Brother Humphreys. Humphrey, excuse me. Whatever it is, God will use it to get you to where he has for you to be. Don't give up. Don't grow weary in your well-doing. There is a due season if you faint not. He will provide exactly what you need. If he, you've heard it said many times, if he's giving you a vision, he's going to give you provision. So you be encouraged. Say it with me. I have not lost anything. I'm going to retrace my steps and I'm going to get back to what I thought I had lost. And what you'll find is it was waiting right there where you left it. Love, relationship, marriage, money, business, good credit score. Just got to do the work, right? Once you get there, like I had to do, I had to lean over and pick up my purse. I had to open it and check and see if everything was there. You got to do the work. You got to lean in to whatever it is you need to circle back Retrace your steps and get to where you had left it. You're going to have to do that. And then you're going to have to check some stuff and make sure that everything is in place. And what's not there, you might have to report in. <laughs> Hallelujah. If the things that should have been in my purse were not in my purse, I would have had to do something to correct that situation. So I pray, hey, Sister Glover, I pray that this word blessed you to understand this is God's message to you. You have lost nothing. There are doors that are waiting for you to just make a move and walk towards them and they're just going to open to you. And they're going to put you in a place of people with influence, people, uh, and, and it's, a, it's a mix of people. You are going to have to seek God on who do I roll out with in this, in this place. And you still may have to do it alone, but you'll know how. God, give me wisdom on what to say, who to talk to, uh, uh, how to be in this place that I'm uncomfortable with and I'm unfamiliar with. And he will give you, he will give you peace. He will give you peace. And so know that God is with you. The Holy Spirit is with you, leading and guiding your way. Amen. I pray this blessed you. Be encouraged. And uh, this is still the day that the Lord has made. We make a choice to rejoice in it and be glad. God bless you.